good morning all today we will discuss about class larvacea and its example oikoplura class larvacea is otherwise known as appendicularia perinicodata and coplata larvacea is a group of small neotonic transparent and free swimming tunicates with a permanent tail supported by persistent notochord Neotonic uh, means uh, the condition in which an organism reaches maturity without losing all its character. The very name Larvacea indicates that the members are neotonic or pedogenetic. Uh, pedogenetic means uh, reproduction by young or larval animals. Pedogenetic and their larvae become sexually mature without completing metamorphosis. So they retain most of the larval characters. throughout life and this resemble typical chordates more closely than do other tunicates class larvacea planktonic tunicate this is the picture of uh, larvacean body of tadpole larva throughout life delicate house for protection and to filter for food It's a temporary, loose, non-cellular and jelly-like envelope commonly called the house. This house can be frequently removed and renewed. Here we can see that a larvae is in its house. Uh, the main function of the house is for protection and to filter for food. And this house has inhalant and exhalant openings. for the entry and exit of water yes. distribution it is found in worldwide coastal areas habitat larvaceans are free swimming and lives in ocean near to the shore significance to humans because of potentially high population numbers first generation times and ability to clear waters of phytoplankton appendicularians can have considerable effect on the food web of the pelagic environment and thus on the numbers of fish important to humans it has oval trunk and long thin tail this is the tail and the tail contain notochord which retain all throughout their life here the tail is permanent except tail uh, the body is covered by the gelatinous layer and also the digestive tract is bent and it look like a u shaped with mouth and anus close to each other here is the mouth and phalanx is large it has only a single pair of gill slit here is the modified gill slits and endocelar groove reduced peribranchial artery is absent and sexual reproduction incomplete or absent larval metamorphosis it is a process of transformation from an immature form to an adult form in two or more distinct stages and the class larvacea is divided into two orders namely endostylophora and polystylophora first order called endostylophora in it house is bilaterally symmetrical with two appendages pharynx with endostyle for example appendicularia and in the order second called polystylophora house is bilaterally symmetrical with a single aperture and pharynx without endostyle example covalescia the examples of uh, larvaceans are appendicularia oikoplura and covalescia oikoplura they are solitary free swimming and hypopleostonic larvacea hypopleostonic means swimming just below the water surface 
neotonic form. It means that it's a condition in which an organism reaches maturity without losing all its characters. A loose gelatinous test called house. The main function of the house is that it serves as a respiratory apparatus and as a protective hydrostatic food filter. Oikoplura contains bioluminescent species means uh, the organisms which produce and emits light. The body of Oikoplura is oval shaped and microscopic. Tail otherwise known as the caudal appendage. It is a long and ribbon like and it is a chief swimming organ which maintains a continuous water current tail is bent forward and downward and hence is anteriorly directed it is a chief swimming organ while the animal stays in its house in its house the tail maintains a continuous water current. Here we can see the picture of Oikoplura within its gelatinous house. The house is uh, covered by a gelatinous matrix and there are two openings. Excurrent openings and incurrent openings. Here is the excurrent openings and here is the incurrent openings. And in the second picture we can see that the Oikoplura is comes out uh, from the house and here is the mouth and mouth and anus are situated closely to each other and internal organs are well developed elementary canal is u-shaped and uh, pharynx is a large with ciliated epipharyngeal band, endosteel and a base of pair of ciliated gill slits. Dorsal lamina is absent. Uh, dorsal lamina means it's a longitudinal membrane in tunicates that projects into the cavity of the branchial sac. Uh, in the third picture, uh, the Oikoplura is in its free floating forms. And this is the auto this is an autocode. And heart is ventral, enclosed within a delicate pericardium. Here is the heart. It's enclosed in a delicate pericardium. And definite blood vessels are absent. Blood ovulates through the irregular lacunae. Uh, nervous system is uh, well developed. And Oikoplura central nervous system possesses homologues of the vertebrate, forebrain, hindbrain and spinal cord but not the midbrain. Next, reproduction. Oikoplura is a protrandus hermoprodites. It means that uh, it have, having the male reproductive organs come to maturity before the female. It is called a protrandus hermoprodite. And fertilization is external and development is indirect with a tail tadpole and neotonic and undergoes only partial metamorphosis. Most of the larval structures are retained in the adult. Thank you.